Hi everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome to my channel. So before I jump into today's Dollar Tree haul, I just want to take this opportunity to thank all of you that left me such kind and amazing, beautiful messages on my birthday, which was last Wednesday. I I can't thank you enough. You really did make my day. I have to admit, I had some reservations about turning 50. Uh, but you know what? All in all, it turned out to be an amazing day and it's been one of those birthdays that just keeps going and going and going. Uh, I celebrated over the weekend. Some friends of ours had us over for dinner. I'm going out for dinner again tonight with a girlfriend and I have a pedicure planned for uh, with another girlfriend here coming up soon. So yeah, it's just been one of those birthdays that just, just doesn't seem to end. And you know what? 50? hasn't been so bad after all. <laughs> I do wanna quickly show you a really cool gift that I actually received from my sisters. I have three of them. So check out this blanket that they gave me. Oh my goodness. What a perfect gift for me, hey? And yeah, they all know how much I love this red truck theme and it's got this really soft, fluffy stuff on the inside and I absolutely love it. So thanks sisters, um, you, uh, you did good. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the Dollar Tree haul. It's not a huge haul, uh, but I did manage to pick up a few new items. So let's start with the food related ones. I found this little jar of hot chocolate mix. I thought that looked kind of interesting. I think I'll probably end up taking this to work with me. It's just a rich and creamy hot chocolate. Can't probably go wrong with that. I grabbed a couple more bags of these things. Oh my gosh, these have become my favorites. I really, really enjoy this one with the with the yogurt covering on. And then the dark covered chocolate one is really good as well. And I noticed when I was there the other day, there is a ginger covered, um, chocolate covered one as well. Not a huge fan of ginger, so I didn't pick that one up, but these are really, really yummy. Okay, so the next things again, oh my gosh, they keep putting these right at the cash register and I keep buying them, but oh my gosh, they are so good. I'm amazed these even made at home. Usually they don't. <laughs> they get devoured in the car on my way home. If you see these, these are really, really good as well. Bailey's, again, can't go wrong. So this last item is just a box of orzo pasta. Uh, I actually opened it already because I used this in a recipe that I made last night in my Instant Pot. That's been kind of one of my, I wouldn't call it a New Year's resolution, but just something that I'm really trying to use more of this year. It's been kind of just sitting in my pantry and I haven't really given it a fair go. And in the last few weeks, I've actually made a few recipes and they've all been really, really yummy. But the one I made last night was a recipe for Italian wedding soup and I used this orzo in it. It was absolutely amazing. So when I make it again next time, I will make sure that I share that with you guys because it is so yummy. Megan loved it. My boyfriend loved it. It was definitely a hit. So I'll be making it again very soon, I'm sure. So I was going up and down the aisles like I always do and I came across some new slippers. These were actually on an end cap and it was full of all different kinds of styles and patterns and different sizes as well. These are really, really nice. They have the anti-slip little thingies on the bottom here and they're super soft and they have this fluffy stuff on the inside. So I got the kitty cats for Megan and I got the little polar bears. I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not. These are really cute. Little polar bears for me. I don't know how long they're gonna stay this white looking, but <laughs> I thought for $1.25, which is what we pay for our items here in Canada, what a good find these were. These would make great little gifts to even just tuck away for like next Christmas or any other holiday that you have coming up. These would be a great addition to a gift for sure. So my beautiful friend Tina Kazarian posted these awesome tea towels on her recent trip to Dollar Tree and I couldn't resist picking one of these up. I'm actually kicking myself that I didn't grab a couple more. These are really, really nice quality and they're huge. This is a 23 by 32 inch tea towel, a waffle tea, tea towel. And I can see that this is gonna be good quality. It's thick and like I say, it's big. So if you see these in your stores, I don't think these are probably gonna last very long. Mine weren't even hung up yet. They were just sitting on the floor in a box. So I think I will definitely grab a few more next time I'm there. So I couldn't resist picking up a pair of these fluffy socks. Uh, you can probably imagine what I'm gonna be using these for. And if you can't, let me show you. I just recently posted a video on how I made this adorable little girl gnome. If you're interested in seeing how I did that, I'll make sure I put the uh, link for that video in the description box. This is made pretty much from everything Dollar Tree. 
believe it or not, yeah, pretty much everything. Well, except for this cute little bear here, of course. Um, but yeah, Dollar Tree sells a lot of these adorable little fluffy socks and they make great little hats for your gnomes. I noticed that many of the ones that they had right now that were Valentine's related all had those little grippy things on the feet, which isn't a big deal because you can put those, you know, facing the back, but I'm not a fan of having those little things on there. I wish they wouldn't put them on, <laughs> but I did manage to find one pair that didn't have them. So I will definitely be making some more gnomes. I wanted to get a few more embellishments for my little gnomes. So my store still has plenty of these. These make great little embellishments. Um, they're little wooden cutouts. And then I just picked these ones up too. They're like assorted different colors and sizes. I thought they would, they would be really good for that as well. Now this next item is one that I kept passing up on, but I decided to pick it up. I don't know if you guys have seen these little hats in your stores. They're just calling this a kid's hat. And I thought this might actually make a cute little gnome hat or even a snowman hat maybe. And even if I don't end up keeping these little pom-poms on, I could use these pom-poms for something else and I could just use the material for a hat for a gnome. Anyways, I thought that was a pretty good find. I don't know that I would use this for a kid's hat though because there's no elastic in here. I don't know how well it would actually stay on a little kid's head, but this might make a pretty cute little gnome hat. So the last two items that I picked up were two more of these amazing plain candles. I love these things. Now, sometimes they're hard to find because they only sell the ones that have, you know, kind of images on them already. And so when I see these plain ones, I usually grab a couple, or at least I have been the last couple of times I've been because I've been using these a lot. Before Christmas, I finally made something that I had pinned on one of my Pinterest boards like a couple of years ago on, you know, that's something that I'd planned on making, but it just never seemed to get to. And so what I did was I made like a little snowman candle. Again, like it wasn't my idea. I got you know inspired by something that I saw on Pinterest so I made quite a few of those at Christmas time I'll actually insert a photo of what those look like aren't they cute now I want to make some Valentine's ones so I have some ideas for those so I will be putting up a DIY video very soon so make sure you stay tuned for that and yeah, that's basically everything that I picked up this week from Dollar Tree. Again, I know it wasn't huge, but I have some crafting things here up my sleeve here for the next little while. So hopefully you guys will join me for that. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.